How's it going lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Now today what we're going to be doing is some really cheap um, and easy interior modifications to the Focus. Um, it's definitely something you guys can do at home and like I said, both of these items are coming in at around £40 or £50 in total so it's really cheap and it will change the way that your interior looks for the good. So, first thing we're going to do is a gear knob. And then secondly, we're going to replace the um, standard heater, heater selector controls. Um, so, so the gear knob on this car is quite worn down, as you can see. So we've got a replacement from those from the guys over at M Tech Customs. Um, I'll put their Instagram on screen now. Um, but yeah, I've liked the design of their gear knobs for a while now, and they're aluminium, so they, they've got quite a nice feel. The only downside to that is in the winter it's probably going to be quite cold but we're not in the winter so we'll worry about that when it comes to it um, but yeah we're just going to bang them on I'll document it for you guys uh, if you enjoy this video make sure to drop it a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't already um, and let's get straight into it like I said it should be relatively simple so I don't know how long or short this video will be but nevertheless let's get straight into it so the gear lever design that I went for is the the plain um, aluminium, I think it's called an aluminium billet, um, if I can get it out, uh, with the ST logo on top, but it's not in red. They do several different designs, so check out their website. Um, but it's a really high quality feel, it's really well weighted as well. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to getting it on and giving it a try out. Now I haven't actually driven this car in a month. Um, because of the lockdown, I've I've sawn the car, so I haven't actually driven it in a month. So on Monday, I'm going to take it for a drive, and it's just going to be it's just going to be weird. It just is because if you've ever gone for a long period of time without driving a car, it always feels like a race car when you get back into it. So I'll probably document that and see how we get on. But yeah, that's for another video. This is uh, yeah, this feels really high quality actually. So I'm, I'm impressed with it so far. And it's got the uh, stud pattern on the front there and the ST badge. So yeah, we'll go ahead and bang the old one off now. Should be a pretty simple job. Just pull the gator off and it should just turn. And that should just eventually come off. There we go. So, with this one, it comes with some rubber bung that you have to put inside. There we go. That you have to put inside this. I don't know why, but there's already a bit in there. So let me just try and straighten that bit out. And uh, we'll see if we need to put some more in in a second. Okay, as you can see, I've straightened out that bit of bung in there. You might not have to do that. I don't think it's supposed to be on the side like that, but I've just pushed it down the end. Uh, so yeah, we'll just try and screw it on and see how we go. It should just be a case of just screwing it on. Yeah, I can feel it gripping a bit. Let's try and get it straight. Let's put it back straight. And then the gator just literally just clips back on. So it is a very good fit. I'm going to need two hands for this, hang on. There we go, so that's the first mod. First interior mod. The throw still feels pretty similar, I didn't think it would change that too much, but it gives it just that really nice feel and nice weight to it. So yeah, happy with that. Um, next thing is the heat controls. These were literally £10, literally £10, and you can get them cheaper if you're happy to wait. Um, but I wanted to get them within a reasonable time. Um, so yeah, I went for the black ones, you can get them in different colours. But yeah, they just replaced the, the heater module there, or the heater controls. Um, just tidies it up again, the silver will go nicely with the gear lever and the accents on the heater controls so yeah i don't actually know how these come off i think they just pull out well that doesn't want to come i might just quickly search up how that comes out 
Because otherwise what I'll do is I'll end up breaking it and giving you boys the wrong advice. So yeah, just bear with me for two minutes. So I just had a look on Google and apparently they do literally just pull straight off. Um, so I'm gonna give it a go with my hands. If not, we'll bang out some grips or something like that to give us a bit more strength. But yeah, we're gonna absolutely send it. I'm gonna need two hands for this. So we'll set you up here on the center console. Jesus. It's just awkward to grab onto. Yeah, I think I'm gonna grab some grips. That's way too tricky. You can't get enough grip on it because they're so small. Um, so we'll just quickly grab some grips of some kind and uh, pull them off. All right guys, so I've just grabbed a mini um, set of mole grips and I've just put some electrical tape over the ends there so we're not scratching these little bits if we do ever want to put them back on um, so yeah just a little tip for you there if you don't or if you want to just yeah if you want to just save them from being scratched so if you want to use them at another point or sell them or whatever then you can just put a bit of tape on there um, that's electrical tape that I've used just to stop them from scratching. So yeah, we'll give this a go now. Hopefully it's not gonna to be too difficult. Um, if we pop that on there, I'll just give it a pull. Oh, much easier. Kind of make me look a bit stupid, really. <laughs> so I'm just gonna pull all of them off. That one's a bit tougher. Before we put the new ones on, days so it's literally as simple they should just clip straight back on Number three, there we have it. So yes, lads. Looks pretty decent actually, it looks much better. It's better than I thought as well, but particularly for such a cheap mod. Like I said, this the, the gear lever was £24 uh, for the top of my head and the um, heater controls were literally a tenner. So that's 34 quid. Um, and it's changed the look massively. I think it looks much better actually. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. Um, but yeah. That has been today's video nice and quick one for you guys um, just some really cheap and easy mods for you guys to do yourselves at home whilst you're in isolation although we're pretty much out now so yeah hope everyone's staying safe and staying well thank you to everyone that has subscribed recently um, and hopefully we'll be back to normal soon um, today is the day that I was supposed to be going to modified nationals so today is a sad day um, but yeah, unfortunately that has been postponed as I'm sure you guys are aware. But yeah, thank you guys for watching to this point. I'll stop rambling now so you can get on with your day. Thank you very much. Um, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.